Hello. In this video, we shall prove that the square root of 2 is irrational. Let p and q be natural numbers with no common factors. Then, if the square root of 2 is indeed a rational number, we should find a representation that is a fraction of two uh, natural numbers p and q. Okay, this is the very definition of a rational number. So what we do is, well, okay, if let, let's assume that the square root of two is not irrational, that it is indeed rational, then we can find this representation. Now we'll uh, just multiply both sides by q and square the whole thing, just so we have uh, this somewhat more workable representation. Now we already can learn one thing. We have some natural number squared times 2. And any natural number squared is still a natural number. Now you have to know about the definition of even numbers. And the definition of an even number is just 2 times some other natural number. And it turns out that only even numbers squared are again even numbers. Okay, and we will prove this statement as well. So we have uh, 2 squared times k squared here. And we can write it down like this. And because we have a uh, natural number factor on the right side and a 2 here, we still have an even number. Now let's see what happens if we take an odd number. And the definition of an odd number is just take any even number and add one. Now what we'll get is the thing from above, right? This is just this is just 4k squared. We already know that this is even. Uh, and again, 4k squared. So we have two two even numbers here and two even numbers uh, summed are again even numbers and we have one squared here right and one squared is just one so this again is even and even plus one is odd so any odd number squared will again be an odd number okay so what we've learned from all this is that p can be rewritten like this because it is an even number let's so let's just do this okay now we can square this term and actually refine our representation a little bit okay so we see now oh, let's divide both sides by two we get this representation and we see oh so q as well must be an even number okay q is even because k squared will be some natural number and any natural number times 2 gives us an even number. All right, but this means that p and q have at least one common factor, 2, or there wouldn't be even numbers. But this contradicts our assumption that p and q do not have any common factors. So our theorem is proven.